Welcome to JRM Sweeps. This is my transom saber here that I made out of some one and a half inch PVC pipe, two T's, and a small little roller here. I cut a notch here and one notch here on the T's, and then took some zip ties, and zip tied the rubber roller here. And the notch here helps the rubber roller stay in place. I just took a little jigsaw and cut these out here. Let me show you how this works on the boat trailer and the motor. This is a five horsepower, four stroke Honda outboard, and we're going to put the transom saver right down here at the bottom of the trailer. Now I cut mine to a personal length that I wanted, and the reason why I notched this end here is because when you pick this up, that notch will help it from falling down off of the trailer. Okay, this is probably the setup I'm gonna run. I may kind of shorten this strap up a little bit. I may put something back here on the back side as just a buffer. I will run the extra strap through that T and tie it off to the trailer that way if for some reason the boat were to shift and this were to drop, I'll still have my transom saver there. I had some of these leftover roll bar rubber mount pieces here. Fits nicely right here on that lower unit. Help protect that. You look here. You're getting no flex at all on that transom. Thanks for watching.